Few people paid attention to what Elon Musk said at that packed event in late 2025. While the cameras focused on the Cybertruck displayed on stage and the flashes sought any teaser of the Tesla bot, Musk dropped, almost as if sharing a secret among friends, that Tesla's true revolution lay in something invisible to the public, the battery. But not just any battery. According to him, the company had been quietly working on an aluminum ion battery for years, and now it was ready to make its debut, not in a luxury car, but in the compact car that promises to bring the electric world to the streets of any neighborhood, the Model 2. The timing couldn't be more strategic. In a market saturated with EVs trying to stand out through design, voice assistance, or dashboard games, Tesla decided to focus on what really matters, range, durability, price, and charging time. And let's face it, if anyone had the clout to attempt something like this, it was Musk. Contrary to what many imagine, the aluminum battery project didn't start yesterday. It involved years of internal research, discrete partnerships with nanotechnology startups, and even some acquisitions that, at the time, seemed insignificant but now make perfect sense. The bet on aluminum ion technology was kept secret for a simple reason. Nobody believed this technology would be ready so soon. Until recently, it was considered something for the laboratory, far from industrial scale. But Tesla, once again, decided to ignore the industry consensus. While other companies were chasing lithium, cobalt, and nickel, Musk's giant, was testing prototypes that promised to do in three minutes what currently takes 40. That's right, three minutes of charging for a full range. It sounds like fiction, but it's on Tesla's roadmap for 2026. What's most impressive is that this innovation wasn't aimed at the Roadster or some car that would cost a fortune. Musk was clear, the Model 2 will debut this technology. An affordable compact car designed to be the first electric car for millions of people worldwide. You could even say the Model 2 is the iPhone of electric vehicles, a gateway to a new era where extreme performance and affordable prices finally go hand in hand. Those who saw the pre-production tests assure that this is serious business. The first Model 2 prototypes with this new battery are already on the roads of Nevada, enduring extreme conditions. And what you hear from engineers is something rare in the industry. Astonishment. They expected something good, but what they are seeing is revolutionary. A car that weighs less, responds faster, and doesn't overheat in deserts or ice. All thanks to a battery that doesn't use the traditional and problematic elements of current batteries. It's worth remembering that Tesla isn't just launching a new battery. It's proposing a paradigm shift. Aluminum is abundant, cheap and recyclable. By building a production chain around it, Tesla virtually eliminates the geopolitical bottlenecks that affect lithium production. And at the same time, it opens up opportunities for tax incentives in the US and other countries that are eager for sustainable, locally manufactured solutions. And there's more. This move puts Tesla back ahead of its competitors. While some automakers are still investing heavily in optimizing lithium batteries, the company is already two steps ahead. It's no coincidence that, behind the scenes, Chinese and German manufacturers have begun sounding out suppliers of high-purity aluminum. The market sensed the turnaround and is now trying to make up for a loss that may be impossible to recover. While everyone was still digesting the idea of a lithium-free battery, the technical and environmental advantages of aluminum ion technology began to attract even more attention. It's not just about innovation. It's about a practical solution to problems that have been hindering the real advancement of electric cars. The first point is already a punch in the face to the old industry. This new chemistry completely eliminates dependence on critical materials like cobalt, nickel, and manganese the same ones that inflated costs and generated controversy due to their dubious origins. Imagine an electric car that doesn't carry the shadow of child mining in Congo on its back? Exactly. Furthermore, aluminum is a true unsung hero. 
We're talking about one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust, extracted in more than 40 countries, which makes the geopolitical game much more balanced. China, India, and Australia lead global production, making supply more predictable and less vulnerable to international tensions. And here's a detail that few people know. Recycling aluminum consumes only 5% of the energy needed to extract it from scratch. That's right, 5%. That fact alone would make any environmental engineer smile, but it doesn't stop there. The aluminum ion batteries developed by Tesla go beyond the material itself. They use non-volatile ionic liquid electrolytes, meaning substances that don't evaporate, don't catch fire, and remain stable even at high temperatures. In practice, this means that a car with this battery won't make headlines for exploding while charging. It may seem like an exaggeration, but this type of safety is one of the main demands of consumers who are still suspicious of the safety of EVs in general. The laboratory tests are worthy of a movie. The cells were intentionally punctured, crushed, and even short-circuited. The result? No smoke, no flames. They remained cold, stable, and safe. The thermal stability of these batteries allows them to operate at full efficiency in temperatures ranging from 50 degree to plus 185 degree C. This means that, in both the freezing cold of Alaska and the scorching heat of Dubai, the battery will remain stable, as if nothing were happening. This thermal resilience also solves a major problem faced by drivers in extreme regions, performance loss. Anyone who has tried to start an EV in harsh winter weather knows that the range plummets. With aluminum ion technology, this problem practically disappears. There's no more of that issue of losing 30% of the charge just because of the cold. And that can be the deciding factor for those who live in places where the temperature almost never goes above freezing. Another point that deserves attention is the long-term environmental impact. Besides being safer and less polluting, this battery is also much cleaner in its production. It contains no toxic heavy metals, no components that are difficult to recycle, and no processes that are aggressive to the environment. It's as if Tesla is saying, it's not enough to be electric, it has to be ethical too. And that, let's face it, is a huge differentiator in today's world, where sustainability is no longer a trend, it's an obligation. We cannot forget that the use of aluminum facilitates not only production, but also disposal and reuse. The closed loop system that Tesla is proposing with almost total reuse of the material, can reduce recycling costs by up to 40%, also decreasing the carbon footprint of the electric fleet. It's the kind of benefit that impacts both the wallet and the conscience of the buyer. What's really leaving engineers speechless isn't just the material itself, but what this aluminum ion battery is capable of in terms of performance. Imagine charging your electric car in less time than it takes to pay for a coffee, at a convenience store? Well, initial tests showed exactly that. Small cells fully charged in less than three minutes. And when it comes to vehicles, Tesla has already managed to reduce that time to less than five minutes. You can pull over, take a sip of water, and drive off with the car ready to go over 400 kilometers. While Tesla's V3 chargers deliver up to 250 kilometers for lithium batteries, Aluminum ion prototypes have already exceeded peaks of 1,000 kilolitrobald in tests. Of course, this extreme power should be toned down in commercial models, but even so, a realistic charging speed between 350 and 500 kilov already represents a reduction of more than 80% in waiting time. Instead of waiting 30 to 40 minutes, the driver would wait the length of a TV commercial. This completely changes the dynamics of using an electric car and could be the push needed to convince that skeptical neighbor to abandon the combustion engine altogether. Now, if you think the magic ends there, hold on to this. Aluminum ion batteries support up to 12,000 recharge cycles. That's right, 12,000. Just to compare, the most robust lithium batteries rarely exceed 3,000 cycles before they start to lose performance significantly. Translating that into distance, 
With 12,000 cycles, a car like the Model 2 could travel 2.5 million kilometers before needing a battery replacement. That's enough to circle the world about 60 times and still have enough mileage left to teach your grandchild to drive. And the best part is that this durability doesn't come at the cost of performance. No memory effect, nor gradual loss of autonomy over time. The recharging capacity remains stable even after thousands of cycles. This means the car continues to have full throttle for decades. And if the idea of changing cars every five years already seems absurd today, by 2026, this practice could become obsolete altogether. A single battery could last longer than the car itself. For commercial fleets and light aviation, this is a real game changer. Imagine electric planes or light trucks that travel millions of kilometers without worrying about battery maintenance. The total cost of ownership plummets, and the initial investment pays for itself in record time. In personal use, this longevity transforms the car into a much more reliable asset. You no longer buy an electric vehicle thinking, how long will it take for the battery to die? You buy it knowing that it will last longer than your own interest in maintaining the car. Another point worth highlighting is the consistent performance in diverse climates. Traditional batteries tend to lose range when the external temperature varies significantly. Aluminum ion batteries, on the other hand, maintain stability even in extreme situations, such as sub-zero temperatures in mountainous regions or intense heat in desert areas. This eliminates one of the biggest criticisms leveled against EVs to date, the so-called illusory range that disappears in the cold. Even under extreme usage conditions, such as frequent fast charging or long trips, degradation is virtually imperceptible. This increases not only battery durability, but also the resale value of the car. After all, nobody wants to buy a used car with a dead battery. Now, with this new chemistry, a second-hand Model 2 can become more valuable than a new combustion engine car. The charging speed and durability are impressive, but what completes the package is the volumetric density of this new battery, a technical term that, in short, means how much energy fits into a small space. And this is where a real technological leap comes in. Thanks to the use of materials like 3D graphene foam, Tesla engineers have achieved a density of 1,350 dollari wetch per liter. That's almost double what you see in the most modern lithium batteries, which range between 700 and 900 dollari wetch UL. In a compact car like the Model 2, every cubic centimeter is precious. And Tesla is managing to use it like no one else. This incredible density means you can fit more energy into less space. This might seem like a technical detail, but it changes everything. With a smaller pack, the car becomes lighter, more agile, and, as a bonus, frees up space for other things, more interior comfort, crumple zones for crash safety, or even additional storage areas. For an urban hatchback like the Model 2, which needs to be compact on the outside and spacious on the inside, this flexibility is pure gold. And when it comes to design, the new cell format also steals the show. Instead of traditional metal cylinders, like the 2170 or 4680, Tesla opted for soft pack type cells, which are thin, flexible, and wrapped in laminated films instead of rigid casings. They are only four millimeters thick and can be arranged in flat layers under the car floor, or even in unusual locations, such as door panels or under the seats. This opens up room for more creative and modular interior designs. In practice, this new format allows the Model 2 to be designed with more freedom, without being confined to a rigid and bulky battery box. Engineers can better distribute weight, improve the center of gravity, and even experiment with new body proportions. The result? A more stable, safer, and more comfortable car, all without sacrificing performance or range. It's as if the vehicle's architecture has been unlocked. Another direct impact of density and design is on aerodynamic efficiency. A car with less volume dedicated to the battery can be lower, lighter, and more fluid in the wind. 
This reduces drag and further increases range per charge. And of course, it also facilitates the cooling of components because thin cells dissipate heat much more efficiently than cylindrical versions. This is especially useful in hot regions or during intensive use. It's also worth mentioning the weight. Aluminum ion fuel cells are about 30% lighter than lithium cells, which can reduce the Model 2's total weight by up to 200 kilos. This reduction not only improves fuel consumption, but also directly influences drivability. A lighter car brakes better, responds faster to steering, and wears tires less. In other words, more fuel economy and more driving pleasure, even in an affordable car. Behind all this energy innovation, a profound change is happening behind the scenes, the way Tesla recycles its batteries. And here, again, Elon Musk decided to follow an unconventional path. Instead of relying on traditional industrial processes, which use heavy acids, high temperatures, and generate toxic waste, the company created a dry-loop recycling system. This method is almost poetic in its efficiency. It separates materials through vibration, pressure, and magnetic fields without burning, melting, or contaminating the environment. This advancement is more than just technical, it's strategic. Because it solves one of the biggest dilemmas of mass electrification, what to do with millions of batteries at the end of their useful life? With this new process, Tesla not only reduces recycling costs by up to 40%, but also virtually eliminates the environmental impact of its operations. This changes the game not only in terms of brand image, but also in practice. Less dependence on virgin materials, more reuse, less electronic waste, and a truly sustainable cycle. Another point that few have realized is how liberating it is for Tesla to abandon lithium. With this new aluminum-based chemistry, the company simply breaks the shackles that bound it to the global lithium supply chain, an expensive, unstable chain largely controlled by China. And this, of course, has not gone unnoticed by U.S. policymakers. With the new battery, Tesla easily qualifies for the Inflation Reduction Act incentives receiving up to $7,500 per vehicle sold in the U.S. This move, moreover, is not just financial, it's geopolitical. By exiting the lithium route, Tesla gains total control over its supply chain, price, extraction, transportation, and production. No more surprises with price spikes or logistical blockages. It's as if the company has built its own highway without tolls, without barriers, and without depending on the whims of foreign governments. For those who have always defended technological independence, this step tastes like a silent victory. And of course, this also means more predictability for consumers. Can you imagine knowing that the price of your car won't suddenly skyrocket because of a lithium crisis in the Asian market? Or that battery maintenance doesn't depend on rare parts from the other side of the world? With aluminum ion and the dry loop system, Tesla creates an ecosystem where everything is within reach, both logistically and environmentally. This shift in recycling also reinforces the idea that the electric car needs to be thought of as a living organism with a sustainable beginning, middle, and end. It's not enough to simply sell the vehicle. It's necessary to ensure that it can be disassembled, reused, and reintroduced into the production cycle without waste. And that's exactly what Tesla is trying to institutionalize with its new automated recycling centers, scheduled to begin operating at scale as early as 2026. Interestingly, this process also serves as a strategic reserve for the company. By reusing aluminum and other components from its own batteries, Tesla creates a closed loop that makes it less vulnerable to external fluctuations. Furthermore, this system allows for the recycling of batteries even after decades of use, which is a huge competitive advantage in the long term.